Java Saint, welcome to another beautiful, fun, and exciting episode of Cars, Designs, and Plans. And I'm a beautiful night school treat. But no, you could be the entertainer. All of us look at the solution and not. I make sure I wake up very early so I can go to the car, give you another review without any disturbances. So guys, without wasting any time before the kids come up and come here, let's go in. So today, I'm going to start with the interior. I'm going to start with the interior. So... I think you've seen everything outside. Let's go. There's one here. It is really heavy. Whew. It is really heavy, I don't wanna lie. These things I've put in here. So all this effort. Oh no no no! This is mine. I don't want to lie. This is mine. This toolbox is mine, and everything else I found in here. Oh, and this is mine. The rest I found in here. So what I found is what I found are these lights. I think these ones were on this car before i don't know what these ones are i think these things are for the panel for the, the beadings i don't know what this one is for i don't know what that one is for this is for the roof lights panels I don't know, I don't know a lot of things here and what they are for. Beatings. There's still a lot going to be done. I'm gonna have to figure out a whole lot of things. Door panels. So the space here in the back is very big, it's very huge. I think I can put my nice two sap hoovers. I think I can put my nice two sap hoovers and still have space. When I say two sub I'm talking about two fifteen inches. Those who know the space with liters, people will call it, will define the space using the liter measurement. I don't know how they know it, but people will define. People will define the space here using liters. Seems like they were six by nines here. They cut holes for the six by nines. So I'm going to need that mat. Do you see that mat which covers the in the back? So it's not like this. That thing like this. And that material this material. I'm gonna need it cover up the whole space. What is this for? What is this for? My mirror. Middle mirror control. It 
so many things I don't know. Where is this supposed to go? I'll figure out this time goes as time goes I'll figure them out and I also think there's something that covers here because this place can't be exposed like this I don't know it yet so guys help me those who have wear six of the who those who have seen them what covers here is it, is it that cloth material is it that material covers around here This thing I'm showing them, I think I'm gonna put it in. That's light for the indicators, but why is it just one of them for the indicators? Yeah, it's for here. It's the original VW. Yeah, there's the original one. for this type of lights remember I'm trying to keep this car as original as possible so they're gonna look for this lights oh. okay let's go try and put this in but it's not even connected What are these ones for? Oh, you here. Oh, okay. And this one? My number plate. Uh, here. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I love finding out which belongs where. So guys, I'm just trying to wrap everything and show you everything as quickly as possible before the kids wake up. Jera. Jera. Now what is this, guys? I wish I was there when they were busy. This is for the bonnet. I know. Hey. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure them out. Let's go in. Ah. Let's close here. Yeah. Let's go in. Speaker, so I'm not gonna have problems which I was having with my cough. Hey, with my cough, right? When you were using those things to open windows, there's this wire, there's this wire that goes down, it goes like this when you unwind, right? That thing goes down and it goes and pops your speakers goes crazy the hole through your speaker or tears those um wires that you use to connect to the speaker so your speaker will always be switched off or it will be popped and it will stop playing as loud as you know so this one i can see we're not gonna have problems with it initially like the first thing that i saw 
and it showed me that we're not going to have those problems. This thing is stepped up. Like it's not going within the panel. I don't know if you get me. It's not going within the door panel. It's stepped out. So your speaker will still be here. No matter how big your magnet is, it will never reach that place. Either way, this is an electric castle. There's no mechanism of that thing. So I'm just going to go. Cool. Let's go inside. Um, the interior. Morning, how are you? Good. Good, go back in the house. So, so guys, here I'm having my place is where I'm going to put 6 by 9 But, okay, I understand that there's going to be 6 by 9s here, but what was here? Why did they do this? Hey, guys, get me a clean backboard. Oh, ow. My nice armrest. This, this seat, they look at the seats. They are this way. Lay the manaka. Lay the manaka. Lay the manaka. Lay the manaka. Let's go to the other side as well. Hi. So I'll be putting my stuff here, my books. But which books will I put because I'll always be driving? You don't leave money in your hand, so at least they can get a few cents. <laughs> oh, here they have at least this door thing is here. That side, I don't have anything to open the door with. I don't know where it is. Maybe they forgot me. They forgot it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Too many things. <laughs> Look at this. I'm still hitting the chimney. And then you take your headdress up. But where are my big headdress? Hmm? You'll be in a fight with someone like, Hey man, turn the car, turn the car. Hey man, I don't want. So the same street in here, at least they've run the wires. Okay, what is this for? I am going to have a lot of things to figure out here. <coughs> now let's go look at the roof lining. It looks redone. It looks new and redone. This is not um, OEM or what? Like this is not factory setting. Look, it's too clean. Looks really done. Good job. Whoever did this, good job. Minus whatever. Minus whatever. So, let's go to the passenger side. Hey, problem. The one piece please guys help me find this panel please as soon as possible and the electronic one what's going on here oh i hope you, you still work even though you're opened up like this guys i need that this panel here with all its shenanigans all those z -z 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 buttons i need them please Come through for me, please guys, please, come through for me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> My seats, <laughs> this, ah, this is one that we're still done in Germany. I know this passenger seat, they never get damaged, ever, ever. They never get damaged, ever, ever, ever. They never hear what was happening. Hey, I know what this is. Crank sense. Crank sense. I know it. Guys, don't forget to help me find the panel in. Bura panel. Oh. 
What was in here? Chickens or what? <laughs> ah, why? I hate that thing. So don't worry, my car. No one will ever smoke in this car. The days of having people smoking in you are over. Okay, where is that? Okay. Do we have a speaker here? Okay, guys, the dashboard is this way. My dashboard is this way. Oh, I'm having echo. Good. My AC stuff. Don't know what they are. My window open up. Okay. Um, I think these things here are used to cover this thing here. Um, down here. Where's my gear thing, guys? Please get me a Vora OEM gear. Tell me if I can find it. Gear, yeah, what, what? And it's body. And yeah, what else? Okay, now let's go to the driver's side. Hey, I'm having light. Okay, lights. Remember that. Oh, I have another one. Remember that squarish lights which I've shown you that uh, the, the Baggins, I told you it belongs here. So I was going to plug it here. And before we go, my nice vents direct the mic. So, what I love about this Vura is that, oh, here we opened when we wanted to diagnose it. Uh, I was there by Vincent's. I drove it there and then we opened here and he opened it. This thing closes here. And then put that machine and he told us that our fuel relays did. And that's when we know that the crank sensor, crank sensor is also dead. This is the fuel relay. We took out already. So let's go here. Let's go to the best part of my Vora now. Guys, my Vora. It's an OBD1 1993 model. The one with the airflow meet six pin airflow meter. Right? These are the first Vuras to be released. The first. So my car is definitely an OBD1. It seems like the fenders were, were, were put here. These are new fenders aftermarket or maybe oem but these are new vendors right cool this guy is an obd1 guys so why i say i've googled i've checked up the information my car is that one of six pin airflow meter 923 model obd1 vr6 it's the one with the speedometer of 260 so maybe it's the faster one not maybe it is so if you bring your nice uh, 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 Vura of 4 pin airflow meter, I want you call out, call out. That's why I don't want to change um, a lot of things on this car. When I keep it as original as possible, how it came. So here at, at VW, they were going all out. They were going all out. They knew that Nkupi is coming. We have to give Nkupi more power. Yes, we're going to give everyone different types of Vuras, but Nkupi must have more power. And they gave me that. Gave me that. Okay. Pedals down here. Don't forget. Mine's 1993 model OBD1. The one with 6-pin airflow meter. And speedometer going up until 260. You'll see what you do with that information. You'll learn that those other Vuras have a speedometer up until 240. 
mine is 260 video electronic is between video electronic this time i'm going to keep it as oem as possible something i might not even tamper with ah. so there, there is my interior there needs a little bit of work but not something i cannot deal with remember guys the moment i bought this car i saw all these things and i said they are nothing let's go so yeah where's my radio where's my oem radio i wish they left it here i was gonna keep it oem but it's fine um the mats here it's still dirty so i'm gonna need to remove the seat and clean because i'm gonna do it i am gonna do it So yeah, today you did go inside my Vora, you saw how it was, which part did I miss inside? Nothing, okay, cool. So yeah, we were inside the Vora, all has been clarified, so let's move, let's go and chill. That's my Vura there. My Vura. And I love it so much. So, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Morning. Morning. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Remember, you told us to give us cotton candy, McDonald's. Yes, we will do it tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Today is a Friday. So yeah. I promise you what? You promise us we're gonna get cotton candy and McDonald's. Yeah, but today no, we're gonna be doing No, 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 no. Save that today for tomorrow. And we're going to get cotton candy and McDonald's. Oh, okay. I'm coming to go. Go ahead, so let me pick them as well. You didn't go to play by yesterday. I did. And then why do you want but to play? We're going to go to the other playground. Where? Remember that playground? You went to that one that you once went to or you went to another one? That one that you once went to, I'm going to go to the other one. Okay. You will go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the review, internal review of my VR6 OBD1 1993 model. Where are those papers of mine? So, I show you. Mine is the 1993 model. You must, you must Google it. You must google it it's very special it's very special it's very very special mm. let me check where is it written where are those papers Okay, I'll look for them and I'll find them. And I will show you. So yeah, guys, uh, we'll meet before the kids started coming. So we'll, we'll have another episode where we go to the mechanical side of it. So to, from now, guys, that is all we have for this episode of Cast Stands and Class. And I'm your nice, good, beautiful, great fun host, Nkupi the Entertainer. I'm signing out. Bye-bye.